Hello to everyone. Uh, today's information I'm going to go into is called symbols and shapes. Um, understanding Satan's weapons. Uh, I apologize for not being online for a while. Um, you know, I'm going through a you know personal situation. You know, Satan's going to try to you know put hurdles in a way to keep me from doing you know God's work. But you know he, you know he, he needs to understand that I know that I'm being tested, and you know God is allowing him to test me, uh, you know especially with patience with people, and trying to understand you know the reason why they you know act certain ways. But you know I'm not going to get into that you know personal information. But I just want to let you know that you know I apologize for not being online. Um, but this information I'm going to is called symbols and shapes and understanding Satan's devices, the way he use uh, shapes to, you know, as hypnosis, um, you know, it's uh, hypnotic signs, uh, you know, symbols, you know, the, the, the five pointed star, the six pointed star, you know, you have different, uh, you know, the, the, the pentagram, the hexagram, and I'm going to go into some information on that. Is you know this video may be a little short, um, but uh, I'll be back on here maybe in another twenty to thirty minutes. Uh, you know today is the thirtieth of July, two thousand eleven. Uh, Ten thirty p.m. Uh, but I'll be going into the law as well. I'm going to a more in-depth study in reference to the law, so you know people will understand that you really have to follow the law but you we are following the law today with grace understanding that we are in modern times and there are certain things that in the law that can be you know understandable if you can't follow it you know you can't you don't supposed to break the law on purpose that wasn't god's plan okay and you know the first thing i want to show is uh this this image here or this shape is called the hexagon okay or the hexagram now the thing about this shape is and probably you know you learn a lot of this in school but you don't know the significance of how uh Satan uses witches and and you know uh, witchcraft in this type in this shape. Okay, that's why people say when you, when you hear people, say, I'm gonna throw a hex on you and you know things of that nature. That's what they're talking about. All right. Now with this shape, you have uh, six sides, six flat uh, sides here, which you can connect six triangles to. Okay, let me show you. right this is what you have if you can see that and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let the hexagram in the middle drop maybe that'll work see that this is what's this is what's in the middle is your hexagon in your six-pointed shaped star all right now there are a lot of different well there's a few things in the six pointed star you know that that's amazing and again satan is very subtle in his in his doings the way he used shapes and you got to be careful very careful um let me say this before i go on i go into certain information because that's my ministry um, I have not forgot about the gospel of Christ. We, uh, without him, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today. Um, I believe that God gave me the gift of wisdom. And I'm not to say that to boast, but I boast in the most high powers, which is Christ. All right. Paul boasts about Christ. So we, it's nothing wrong about, you know, boasting in Christ. Everything that I've learned today and can, 
you know, put forth on camera today comes from the most high. So I just want to, you know, say that this is none of my doings because I'm stunned myself when I can, when I look into information. You understand? This is serious information that we need to really realize because these shapes and these symbols really can hypnotize you. And you don't know. A person that's been hypnotized, they don't know they've been hypnotized. You know, they just understand, count one, two, three, and then they bow. They, huh, what did I do? I didn't know. But when you're unplugged from the matrix, subliminal message, the subliminal movie that they come out with, when you're unplugged from the matrix, then agents come forth, come, come for you in black. These are all subliminal messages to, to tell you that once you're unplugged from this world, you can bend the rules mentally. What's this shape here? You have a triangle up and a triangle down. One triangle which is shaded with borders and the other one is translucent. Okay? This is how he used certain symbols. Now I can pull I just pulled this off the internet. So he's so now he this you know this this Lucifer is being, he, he's starting to flaunt himself more and more through people. And you see the actual Pac-Man on the translucent triangle going down, which is very significant. The Pac-Man game itself, when you first start playing the game, how many men do you get? Three. That is representing him through the game. That's how subtle this dude is. I tell people if you, when you start to look into his devices, you will be amazed. You may think, oh man, it's just an old game. You know, you are. Right. And then all of a sudden, you wondering why you having nightmares, and you know, oh, this guy was telling me that um, there was a person. I don't, I don't I, I, it's the, the story in my mind is fragmented, but the, the main objective of the story that I remember him telling me was that it was a young lady that saw Rihanna's video that uh, in the video they had top hats and then um, there was, she had a dream that there were demons with top hats and see, I can confirm that because when I was a young kid um, I seen a little small shadow demon with the same type of top hat that's way they, that's just the way they that's their image demons they're real and I'm not trying to scare people with this video but what I'm trying to show you is the reason why you seen these certain images because this is the way Satan use symbols he used certain symbols like the five-pointed star the six-pointed star uh uh the five-pointed star which is the goat head of satan um you can go to um amos 5 chapter 26 that's the star of moloch um then you'll see a, a real key word there chewing um which means saturn and they were actually burning their kids to the star of moloch looking up stargazing at so-called Saturn even years ago in the Bible you can look up the word chewing and you will find that let me read the scripture let's go to Amos chapter 5 verse 26 Amos chapter 5 verse 26 says but ye have borne the tabernacle of, of your Moloch and chewing your images the star of your God which ye made to yourselves what Israel were doing back in the day in the wilderness, they kept falling after all these different gods and goddesses uh, from the other nations. All the other nations was following after gods and goddesses. Our people, which is the Hebrew people, are gullible. And they kept falling and falling and not following the commandments like we do today, thinking it's okay to break the laws and commandments. 
thinking it's okay to eat whatever you want. This is the reason why we have certain spirits on us. And this is the reason why when people go to sleep and they feel that something is on their back and they can't wake up and it's something holding them and they they call it the witches on their back. If you follow the if you follow the commandments and stop eating a bunch of uh, mess that the Most High said don't eat, you'll be amazed. Oh man, it ain't about what you eat. And I'm not trying to change the subject. And I'm going to go into a video on how we got to keep the law. It's impossible for you not to. Okay. But I just wanted to show this information about the actual um, the, the actual images. One more image that I forgot to show on the six-pointed star. This is a very deep, deep um, shape. These, this, this actual shape here. If you look real, look very closely, you you will see the Superman, so-called Superman sign, the so-called son of Jarrell, which is a deep name too. But I'm not going to get into that tonight. Now, this is the Superman sign here. You have it here. Boom, boom, boom. You see that? All you do is put an S in the middle. Now, the S is not what you think it is. It's not Superman. The S has five point five letters. Satan has five letters. That's the way he he's subtle. He he hides himself. So you don't know he exists. You believe that you just uh oh, we we just we people, man. We human, man. You know, we gonna sin. Yeah, do you know that human means sin? <laughs> you were human in the garden. So what happened to human nature then? Come on, y'all. I mean, it, it's you can't live after what you feel or what you think. Oh man, you know, I'm all right, man. I ain't no, I, I can wear what I want, man. You know, I don't deal with Nike or none of that mess. Okay. Uh, in the near future, very very near, um, in a few more minutes, I'm going to go into the law, how we need to follow the laws, uh, how it actually when you follow the laws, you, your mind is clear, you can sleep better. <laughs> I mean, your skin changes and gets clear. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a lot of things that's good when you follow the law. A lot of people don't understand when they don't follow, cancer all over the place palips or whatever you want to call it there's certain things that women go through not saying that that actual woman it, it, it can be hereditary because the family the genetic tra the genetic tra trait you know goes into the goes into the seed okay look out for that video i'm glad to be back uh this is my life and i'll be doing this for the rest of it